Hey guys, Kill Stokes here. In today's video, I'm gonna share a few two things you can do to help increase your trading profits. Also, at the very end, I finally have the details about that free trading workshop I've been telling you about for a while. So make sure you tune in, that way you can reserve your spot. All right, let's hop in. So anyway, back to volume, right? Short session today, so we're giving you guys some fun, some fun stories, right? I don't expect us making it past the first break here. But so, my line is drawn out from structure. We just had a break and close below while I was filibustering. My line is drawn out at structure. But when we when we bring our, our volume on, we see that, okay, we have this zone of volume or this zone of structure, I guess you could say. We see that the volume doesn't really come into play until a little bit lower. So the difference that this can make in your trading is allowing you to shift your targets, which were maybe initially right here, Shift them a little bit lower right there. And now you've given yourself a little bit more on the trade. And in my experience of trading, that, that's all trading is, right? If this is our average risk and this is our average reward, right? All trading is, is finding a way to minimize our stops by a little bit on average, maximize our gains on a little bit by average, and that makes a massive difference, right? I haven't, I haven't done this in a while. This, this is my favorite, kind of my favorite graph to do, right? If, if we have an average stop like this and an average risk like this, or should we average risk like this and average reward like this, right? If we're taking one win and one loss, this is our, this ends up being our profit. Does that make sense, guys? If I take two trades, one wins, one loses, the distance between my, my risk and my whatever is my profit, right? So this is what my profit looks like on one win, one loss, just to give a completely just random example, right? Now, if I can increase my wins by just a little bit, if I can decrease my losses on average by just a little bit, right? Now, all of a sudden, Look at the difference that I created. Just that small little act creates this little bit of a difference. Now multiply this over however many trades you're taking in a year. And that makes a big difference in the year. I'm, I'm talking you could easily get another five, maybe even 10% based off just that small little change of making the habit of getting a little bit better with getting a little bit more out of your trades and a little bit better with getting stopped out a little bit early. So giving back a little bit less on your trades. And that is, you don't have to reinvent the wheel or do anything fancy. It's just that small act to get a little bit more efficient. So the fact that you moved from here, which, you know, if we're just giving a random number, a move from here to here is 39 pips to down here, which is 58 pips. You gave yourself 20 more pips on a trade. So these little differences are, are, are small and, and some may seem as being insignificant, but you look at the big picture and how these little things compound over time, they make a massive difference. It's kind of like, I don't do it anymore, but like I used to tell my kids like, uh, you know, every time they get change from a store, this is back when people use cash, right? Um, you know, put the change or you find change on the floor, like put it in a, a jar. And they're like, well, why am I putting like a dime in a jar? I can't buy anything for a dime, Dad. This is dumb. I'm like, yeah, but like, imagine like if you find a penny or a dime every day, and then like wait till the end of the year where we go to the bank and we we put in a little coin counter thing. All of a sudden, you got a couple hundred bucks, but you don't really see it until you see that 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 big picture. So yeah, trading opportunity here. If you're a breakout trader, we just broke out, so you can trade it right away. I don't know if we have any breakout traders in here, but I'm, I'm not personally a breakout trader, but here's how you, you can look at it, you know, just sell after the, the previous candle. Um, if you want, in this case, just have stops above that candle and you still got a hell of a risk reward down there, right? That's still a great profile. Even if you get your stops above your breakout candle, it's a three to one, or of course you can be a pullback trader and look for pull back into structure and move back down to that level. 
So another awesome opportunity. Aussie pairs striking again. A lot of people think trading is gambling and the truth is, depending on how you approach it, it can be. Think about the casino, for instance. People randomly trying their luck on blackjack, roulette, fruit machines, you name it. I mean, look at me now, pressing buttons. I don't even know what I'm doing. And most people don't know what they're doing. There's no consistency. But if you take the winning tournament poker table, for instance, it's always the same people at that table every night. And that's because they have a strategy, a completely different approach. See, the market is the market. It doesn't care what you do with your money. Whether you're successful as a trader or not depends on your approach. You can approach it as a gambler, where you have no expectation of the future results, or you can approach it as a professional. So if you are sick of hoping, then it's time to take it a bit more seriously and learn a professional approach. So I'm gonna be running a training on how you can take the exact strategy to become a professional and stop all this gambling. Register your name below, and I look forward to seeing you at the event.